Norwich City's Rob Newman does what anyone should do after this atrocious pass. Oh dear, what a mistake. That might give it. Cantona, is he in? He is. That's it. Surely now an all... He hangs his head in shame. Rob Newman and Eric Cantona has punished Norwich City and perhaps taken Manchester United into the last 16 of the FA Cup. The whole thing is messier than Jordan's love life. All it takes is one guy to hesitate and another guy moves in and scores. A bit like Jordan's love life. And Grayson has made it pay for it. Four minutes from time, it's 2-2. Poor Andy Thompson, who in truth has had a storming game at the back. That's Grayson flicking it on. Now was Thompson pushed here? It looks like Michael Owen knocks one in from Rooney, but watch the slow-mo and you'll see it actually comes off Ireland's Chris Bard. Still, England scored. Who cares who scored it, eh? Gareth Barry's arms and legs are all over the place. He totally loses control of the ball and gives it away to Max Moore, who takes full advantage. Now, was it over the line or not? Campbell wins the first header. Villa had to clear it. Gareth Barry was caught dwelling on the ball. A critical error. And Enkelman was beaten by the lob. Right on the line here, Steve Stone is the player trying to get back goal side at the last. The definition of clearing the ball away is getting the ball and clearing it away. Swansea's David Romo struggles with that concept. To be successful in anything, you've got to use your head. In Gillingham's Barry Ashby's case, he should have used his head and not used his head. What a dreadful error by Gillingham, who are behind in the few, first few minutes. Ashby made a dreadful hash of that. People have always said that Rochdale's Alan Rundle should have been the face of football. Denmark's Michael Graviard decides to try and get ahead in football and ends up taking a massive step backwards. The important thing to remember is, if you're going to make a mistake, try not to look really stupid doing it. Shame no one told this defender. A catastrophe of errors with all fingers pointing at Steve Finnan, whose mistake starts the ball rolling towards his own goal. And I cannot imagine what those who follow Liverpool on a regular basis are thinking of the defending they're watching this afternoon. Jermaine Wright can't make up his mind, decides to control the ball with his chest. No, knee, no, he's fire. And there's the final humiliation. A blind pass back to Schmeichel, intercepted by Viali. Palestine's back pass here for Viali, who will tee up a third one for Petrescu. Surely it's got to be Viali! It's Chelsea 3, Manchester United 5. I wonder what he's thinking. It really is. It was a horrid back pass by Pallister. He just didn't know Viali was lurking. And they got the five between them. That knocked out Hereford at Cross. I bet he's bloody furious. Two for Armstrong. Now this is Clive Wilson. Could be problems for Wolves here. And it certainly is. Clive Wilson in the 13th minute has delivered the first blow of the game. And it all stems on that misplaced pass from Andy Thompson. And on this surface, it was a very risky ball. Certainly put Eric Young in distress. 